Hello and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to show you how you can save the information in your timesheet. As you can see, the timesheet is open right here. Right now, we're on Monday, January 23rd. So let's select the work week. Let's add a line. I'm just going to enter an entry. Select the employee. It pulls up her supervisor automatically. Now to do that, I have a lookup formula. It looks like a SharePoint list called employee and it matches the employee's name from the employee's name column in that SharePoint list to the employee time card drop down, which is right here. Right here. And it returns the supervisor's name. Let's go to the here's the employee SharePoint list. Here's the employee name column. And here's the supervisor column. So we selected this person's name in the list and, and returned that person's supervisor. All right, so let's continue on. If I select the billing type, let's choose regular. Notice that this T button appears when regular is selected. If I go to the T button, look at its properties. The visible property has this code. So if the billing dropdown value is regular, it's going to show that T button. And if it's not regular, it's going to hide it. Okay. Now, also, since we have this T button selected, when I press the T button, what it's going to do, it's going to add an entry in our SharePoint list with zero hours for this individual. So let me show you how that works. Let me move this up some first. So I press the T button. Let's go back to the time card SharePoint list. It created an entry with zero hours for that individual. Now, let's say that the person accidentally pressed the T button and did not want to enter any hours. When they press the close button, it's going to remove that entry. So we press the close button and we hit refresh. It removed that entry in our SharePoint list. So I'll show you the code underneath the close button. It's right here. So it does a remove if on that SharePoint list. And if the bill to is equal to regular and the total hours are zero, it's going to remove that entry and close the time entry dialog box. So let's add in some hours in here. 
let's add in hours for Tuesday. So we have six o'clock is when she came into work. She went to lunch at 1030, came back from lunch at 11 and left at five o'clock for a total of 10.5 hours. So if we press the insert button, let's look at our SharePoint list. We added the 10 point hours, 10.5 hours in our SharePoint list. And it displayed it right here to the user. Now let's show you what's underneath this insert button. You zoom in. So you can see I'm doing a if statement looking at to see if the user selected regular on the bill to drop down and the project name is not blank and everything is filled basically in the entry. So it looks at the workday drop down, which is this is the workday drop down. So since we're on Tuesday, it looks at Tuesday this line right here. And if the value is Tuesday, it's going to take the hours that are in here and save it in our SharePoint list. And that's what it did. So we have 10.5 hours. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section.